All right, folks, we're going to do a quick BIOS overview of the Gigabyte H610M S2H DDR4 motherboard supports LGA1700. And in here, if we just look over here to the top left information, so it shows you the motherboard current BIOS version. This is uh, the most current as of March 28th. We're doing this video on April 10th. Here's my CPU that's in here, Pentium Gold G7400. We've got 16 gigs of RAM. Over here you can see we have a single stick and what its base speed is. Now, this is where we're going to overclock it if we wanted to. So when you first come in here, XMP will be disabled. We want profile one, we would select that. And the max RAM speed in here is 3200 megahertz. So boom, we're good. Boot sequence shown here. I do have a USB drive in here, but uh, here is my actual SSD. Over here, some information about the CPU and motherboard. Fan speed, shown right here. If I wanted to adjust the fan speed, I could come in here, click on CPU fan speed, and change that from normal to one of these other. As well as, you know, you can see the charting, the manual control settings in here. And if we go back, I lost my mouse. This is where you would go to update the BIOS. One of the places you can go. Uh, so, I do have a BIOS update video out there if you want to see that, where we do come through the BIOS. Start to finish from where do you find the BIOS update file to downloading it, to putting on a thumb drive, to actually updating it. So that is available. Now, let's click on advanced mode. So when you first come in here, probably either going to be in favorites or tweaker. Uh, these are your actual favorites, and you see what you do here for that aspect. And this is basically the stuff that you really care about um, out of all these menus. The items that will allow you to add your favorites, you can show them here. If we go to Tweaker, you'll see all this information in here. I'm, so I'm not going to click on everything or tell you about every little detail. Uh, if you were able to do your memory channel timings. You can do that in here. Got this section here, SPD info. No, I do not want to quit. I do want to go back one. All right. So under uh, CPU settings, HyperThread technology is in here. Uh, some things, you know, will be available. Others won't be, depending on your CPU. And just so you can see what the settings are. Auto user defined. Auto manual. And the mode, there's only one choice there. Turbo power limits. So sometimes you'll see in my videos, I will um, disable turbo limits. Or not turbo limits, but uh, Intel's turbo boost. Turbo core. So I don't think, I'm not sure if the G7400 even supports uh, turbo boost. So this is going to be a little limited with the CPU in here versus what you might see with some of the other ones, the other CPUs. That's what's under that menu. I.O. ports. Let's see. USB configuration. Whoops. back in there so I'm doing this left-handed I'm right-handed and I'm obviously missing okay <laughs> I did it again there we go so you can see what you're able to do here with USBs I was expecting something different NVMe configuration so most of this stuff not very exciting to look at 
Santa. So they start SATA 4, 5, 6, 7, and you only have four SATA connectors on this motherboard. LEDs in system power on state. So I'm going to look at the motherboard real quick. Yeah, this one doesn't have any lights on it. So I'll give you a second to look at that. Trusted computing. So this does obviously support Windows 11. And you can see there, TPM 2.0 device found. PC health status. Some more general information. System information. So, I mean, honestly, there's like three spots where you can find half of this stuff. It's kind of uh, overkill plug-in devices info another spot for QFlash there here's stuff about booting boot priorities secure boot and then save and exit so that's gonna do it folks for this BIOS overview quick BIOS overview thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe and to get out of here, we're going to do save and exit setup.